Hello, I'm Katherine Patterson. Indiana women's basketball advances to the Big Ten Tournament semifinals after a win today against Michigan State 94-85. The Spartans handed Indiana one of its two losses this season, and early on they seemed poised to take down the Hoosiers again. Uh, we're not proud of how we came out in that first half. I don't think any of us are, but the fact that we were able to kind of weather the storm a little bit and keep our foot on the pedal, keep chipping away at the hole we dug ourselves um, was really special. Mackenzie Holmes scored 27 points and Sarah Scalia added 20. The Hoosiers will face either Ohio State or Michigan tomorrow afternoon at 2.30 p.m. The golf club at Eagle Point changed its management at the beginning of the year. The club will still be owned by Eagle Point's Homeowners Association Point Services Association, but Kemper Sports, based in Chicago, will manage the golf course. And so we sought out professionals, and we believe that Kemper is the professional to take us to the next level at this point in time. The change in management comes after years of financial problems for the club. Surface says the club is now financially secure. A bill that aims to help get a state pilot program on carbon sequestration going narrowly passed the state Senate this week. Property rights and environmental issues split both parties on the matter. The state gave Wabash Valley resources approval to store its carbon emissions underground four years ago. The bill says landowners must get paid at least $250 per acre. It now moves to the state house for consideration. And for tonight's weather, there is a chance of rain for tonight with a low of 31, and it's going to be nice and sunny for the rest of the week. For more local news, go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk's Fridays at 6.